All right, today's question is from Robin. It's on Clearlight, I think it says PRE1. I think that's a Premier 1, compared to the Heavenly Heat Far Infrared Eco. So one person saunas. I haven't read this. Maybe I should be reading these before I do the questions, but we'll just do these on the fly. <clears throat> it says, hi Matt, I was wondering if you have any advice for a purchase. I love the story behind Heavenly Heat and lean towards getting that. Then I spoke with Clearlight and lean toward that. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Um, I have some health concerns, so I wanted to see what your thoughts were on those two. I have limited space, so I would only be able to fit a one person sauna in there. I don't have, I don't like having a lot to do with China on clear light as well as the plastic lining it uses. I, on the other hand, heard that some of the heaters or little rings on the sills of the heavenly heat get hot. If I have to have the smaller version, I don't want to lean back and touch something or that will be too hot. Both are pretty much competitive on pricing, heavenly heat a tad bit more expensive due to shipping. Any thoughts that I might have missed? I have read and reread you and Cody blogs. I don't know what that is. Um, please help, thanks in advance. Sure, I can give you my opinion, but it's it's gonna be my best guesstimate. Um, I have not personally bought a Heavenly Heat. So I'm familiar with the ceramic heaters that they put in them. Um, I'm also familiar with uh, a change in their saunas. So in the past, you can see some reviews on Heavenly Heat, which is why I didn't buy one. Um, in December of 2017, I believe. There were a couple of reviews on their old um, infrared emitters or their infrared heaters, and they had a little bit higher you know, magnetic and electric fields than you like to see. So you get high body voltage from high electric fields. But I think since then, Aura Miller has done a post that somebody sent to me. I skimmed it really quick, and I trust his readings you know, more so or just as much as my own meters. Um, and he said that they retrofitted the saunas or retrofitted the heaters and they brought those levels down. So I think that is no longer an issue. But again, the, I cannot confirm this in first person. You, you, there's no videos that I have out there about Heavenly Heat saunas specifically on reviewing the EMF. Um, but that said, as a general rule, uh, Clear Light is a carbon panel sauna. Heavenly Heat is a ceramic sauna. As a general rule, carbon panel saunas have lower magnetic fields, but they have higher electric fields if they're unshielded. In the case of the Clearlight Premier, both are shielded, it's super low. You can go watch my EMF review video where I personally went inside a Clearlight Premier and tested everything. Um, and I would imagine that since Heavenly Heat has revamped the saunas, I would think uh, theirs would be on par with that or just above. <clears throat> um, you might also like the sauna of the year for 2019, which is the Radiant Health sauna. That's my favorite sauna. You'll find that on the certified sauna list. Just Google it, the list of certified saunas. You can see the reviews of saunas that I would not recommend. <laughs> if you go to my blog, cleverleverage.com and just search for infrared sauna reviews, you can see a bunch of stuff on there. You can see the scam stuff on there that might be helpful for other people that run across this. Uh, there's a consumer report scam that I did a video on. Uh, but Let's see. The thing that is hard for me is <clears throat> if it's if it's considerable if it's comparable on price, if it's comparable on EMF, I have confidence that both companies um, put out a quality product. Um, Clearlight I've tested up and down on the Premier. Heavenly Heat I have not, but I still have confidence that you'd be fine in either one. It's hard for me to make a decision or pick one out or tell you what I would do because there isn't other. You know I don't know what's most important to you. So if super low EMF is most important to you, I'd probably go with the Clearlight Premier. If you're worried about hot spots, I'd probably go with the Clearlight Premier. Um, if you are chemically sensitive and you just absolutely have to have a sauna cabinet that was made in the USA, I'd probably go with the Heavenly Heat. Um, you know, it's it's hard if if. Generally, I make a recommendation based on someone's most important criteria. So whatever they value the most, like for some people, it's the way that it looks. For some people, it's the price. For some people, it's just the EMF. They say, give me the lowest EMF. Obviously, I point them to the certified sauna list where I test a bunch of saunas for different you know, EMF levels and uh, we find out which one comes out on top. But in this case, I think you'd be fine with either one. Um, don't know if this would help you or not, but Clearlight does give me a coupon code for Clever Leverage readers. It's mattjustice-500. If they're not currently having a sale, it'll get you four to $600 off your Clearlight sauna purchase and a free backrest. If they are having a sale, um, you can't double up on the coupon code and the sale price, so I think it's only like $100 and a free backrest. Um, obviously, if it's a four to a $600 savings, that might sway your decision, you know, 
over the heavenly heat or not, I don't know. I personally think you would be fine in either one based on the information that I have in front of me. Um, if it were me, my only hesitate, I kind of want to tell you to get the heavenly heat and I don't even know the people. I, I don't even promote their stuff. Um, <clears throat> but my, I have to be honest with you, my hesitation, um, I've used the Clearlight Premier sauna, so I'm not worried about toxins or you said something about plastic or it's a great sauna. There's no off gassing. It's super low EMF. No issues with that. Tons of people use it. Never a problem. So I'm super confident on that. What my hesitation is on is the, if, if as a general rule, the surface temperature of a ceramic heater is much, much higher than the surface temperature of a carbon panel that they use in the carbon panel saunas. So the big black heaters have a lower surface temperature than the, the tiny little ceramic uh, elements, right? So if you're a person that is, I'm getting the sense from your email without additional info that you are a person that is concerned about having hot and cold spots. As a general rule, people like carbon panel saunas like you find in the clear light because it's a big giant black, you know, panel. It's, you know, the heat is spread out over a larger surface area. So the way that that is delivered to the body is less directional and more broad. So people find that generally more tolerable. They also don't get the sensation that there's a hot or a cold spot. Uh, as a general rule, um, a ceramic sauna <clears throat> is going to project, you know, infrared on a tight beam. So the way that the, the heaters are laid out in the sauna, you know, there's one, you know, on the side of you, there's one behind you, and there's one over here. It's going to be really intense in front of those. And if you take a sauna, if you go watch my Therasauna review, which is a different type of ceramic emitter, but kind of the same effect, it's got heaters lined along the back. And so when you're in that sauna, it's very intense right in front of them. But after a little while, it's too intense in that one spot. You kind of have to move. The issue with that is if they're not evenly spaced or you don't have heaters in front of you, the front of you is a lot more cold. You know, in a, in a carbon panel sauna, I know you don't like, you know, where they're made or whatever. I can't remember exactly what you said, but the heat is more evenly distributed and you generally have carbon panels that go all the way to the front on the sides, which is enough to produce radiant heat in front of you, even if there aren't infrared emitters in the front. Now, I usually promote saunas that have some type of frontal infrared because I like that. The Clearlight Premier has that. The Radiant Health has that. I think the Heavenly Heat has that. Pretty much every sauna that I recommend has that in some fashion. But as a general rule, that gives you a more all-encompassing, gentle, more spread out heating coverage than a uh, ceramic element heater. I don't know if that's gonna make sense to you, but that's been my experience using them. I don't buy into the mumbo jumbo from the, the sauna companies that try to you know sell you on one or the other. It's just one feels a lot differently than the other. Um, Hopefully that will help you in some way. If not, send me another email and I'll make another video for you. Uh, good luck on your sauna search. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you in tomorrow's video.